This is Hype TSM. Wow. Um, did, they, did they switch sides? Oh, yeah, you gotta switch sides. Okay, yeah. right, I don't know what to yeah. Alright, my bad. Okay, so yeah, T sorry I was confused there. TSF, very good Benny Mar, definitely the best around. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Joe Zier going for a comeback, playing Iori, very dangerous character when he gets going. Because if he gets that meter, if he, if he beats you up and gets meter, your second character is done when he starts using it. But uh, luckily for, for TSF, Benny e closes it out. And we actually have Joe Zier playing K-Dash. Uh, not a lot of K-Dash players here in Toronto, so we'll see how this goes, but I am one. I do play TSF quite a bit. Luna. Luna Slate. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, is, is that your handwriting? <laughs> yeah. The bracket's small, man. It's Ooh, tiny. Nice, nice DP. Keep in mind, that DP actually you loses to jump D sometimes, so... Well, it's nice anti-air. I hope he knows that it won't always work in that situation. T TSF is still just taking damage off of uh, Josie's K-Dash here before going out. It's still his first character. Sneaking in as many hits as possible. He's also saving his meter for Iori, he knows. Can you get Joe to Calment here, actually? I have, I have. Sure. Well, you have to. Again, Nigel just kind of knowing he, it, he's very aware here. You can tell that this is free damage for him. You know, making use of the fact that he can guard gauge. He he's it also he's gonna regenerate less health for it taking this nice long. Shit. And in the end, he did kill K Dash. It really worked out for him. He kind of waited that out, and. It was, he knew it was all free damage because Benny's his first character, and he ended up being able to just lame it out and kill him. Yeah. Duel on Anchor. Um, I've never seen that here before, but let's see how it goes. Well, he has a lot of utility from his EX moves, like the teleport. He can Very get true. over trouble repeatedly. Just like that, yeah. He actually just got behind Benny. Yeah. And getting behind him is pretty good. He has no air moves that hit behind him, thankfully. Yeah. Jump D is not that good. But yeah, Nigel is still coming in strong with more meter than Joe Zier, who's on his last character. But Joe Zier running the corner pressure. Wow. Good careful confirm. Um, hold on, hold on. Don't let it down. Whoa, that was close. Sorry. He didn't, um, punch, he didn't punish the guard blow back. I'll, I'll tell you in a break. Faded. Um, so, Joe Zier kind of staying in there. But he hasn't really made much progress on Michael. Like, oh, he missed the EXDM punish. He's oh. missing the reset after Rekkas as well. Yeah, oh, they're nice. definitely they're definitely testing each other a bit. Ooh, wow. Nigel really just catching limbs there. Really shuts it out for Josier. Um, we'll see if that was just a warm up. What is? What is Mike's game name? Um, Tipot or Teapot. Okay. It's T I P O T. Try it that way. So, yeah, first game goes to TSF pretty decisively. Um, no order change, no um, character change. We'll see if Josie has got something else planned here. Uh, he blocks. He's blocking his cross-ups. He's not really falling for any of the really basic tricks, but. Huh? Uh, nice. Well, both of these characters have cross-ups that are pretty easy to see. Yeah. Oh, why did he try to punish with jump CD? He could have gotten a full combo out of that. Because he was, because he was just landing from a whiff DP. Yeah. Nigel uh, opted out of going for the lightning loop there. Oh. Um, wow. I'm guessing he just didn't want to risk dropping the combo when he was already on the lead. Why are characters allowed to combo off of their throws? I still don't get it. This game makes the game fun. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's just three characters, but yeah. uh, that's such a huge advantage. Anyway, we're at a similar si situation for Dizzy again with uh, yeah. yep. K Dash come running into a Benny Morrow. See, he, I mentioned this earlier, he used his DP to anti air his jump Z in the first round. But the second round, 
uh, here, in the second game, he just got totally stuck. Uh, it's tough using uh, a lot of the DPs in this game. The invincibility is so short. Once you leave the ground, the invincibility is over. That's how they end up trading all the time. Ouch. Oh, damn. It's gonna hurt. Oh, oh too wait. high? No, he was a little bit outside the corner when that, when that combo started. I think he needed to be right in there. Uh, I thought I thought uh, K-Dash was too high. I ain't never sure. Well, I mean, it's the thing with that the, the ball is just a ball, right? So it's a little... If you have the middle part, it reaches higher. So you have to, like, position it. Ooh. The Benny threat? Maru, yeah. Yep. The Benny Maru K-Dash matchup is pretty bad for K-Dash. Like, all of his best pokes really do lose. And even his DP loses to his Benny Maru's one most used air normal. I Not really a good look. I always feel K-Dash is pretty low tier. He's like mid, but he's still really good because he can he can really convert damage, but he has he has tough times against some characters. Ooh wow, it's Joe's ears duel on taking control. He's got like no meter though. But okay, at least he got over got rid of Benny. I think Benny's one of the worst characters to play against in this game just because his jump is of such high priority. Yeah, his jump it's like you'll always lose the same thing every time against that character. <laughs> like that's what it feels like. And he does a lot of damage for like no meter, so you have to watch out for him no matter where he is in the, in the team order. And now we have T uh, TSF's DX Yori, and he's probably the best one in, in Toronto to be honest. Hard to say, there's so many of them. There is, but TSF is never bad. Nice oh, overhead, nice. E HD. And he's got meter yeah. for the math cancel. He's gonna kill it early. Close it out. It's over. Oh, wow. 2 0. DSF, Uzir goes out. The good, 